In this video, we're going to be talking about limits where x approaches infinity. So we say where x is unbounded, it could approach positive or negative infinity. So you'll see limits in this notation or form. The limit of the function f as x approaches positive or negative infinity. If you know your horizontal asymptote properties, then this video will seem familiar. We're using the same exact three situations that we use to find horizontal asymptote equations. There are three situations. The first is if the leading degrees are equal. So anytime we're looking for those horizontal asymptotes, we're comparing leading terms with leading degrees. So we're looking for the term that has the highest degree or the biggest exponent. And if we have equal degrees or equal leading degrees, then the limit value is going to be the same as the horizontal asymptote equation. And it's just going to be the value of the coefficients, those numbers that are in front of your leading terms. So let's do an example. The limit of this function as x approaches positive infinity. Find your leading degrees or leading terms. They're not always in order, so be careful. Look for the highest exponent. So on top, the leading term is 2x cubed. On the bottom, the leading term is 7x cubed. So we can rewrite it and ignore everything else. We're just finding the limit of this. It actually is the exact same thing. And because our exponents or leading degrees are equal, we're just focused on those coefficient or numbers in front values. And we just write those values. Sometimes we may have to reduce that fraction. But in this case, we don't. The limit as x approaches positive infinity for this function is 2 sevenths. And that's actually where the horizontal asymptote is happening. That horizontal line, uh, the equation y equals 2 sevenths. Let's look on the graph. So right about here is 2 sevenths. There's an imaginary horizontal asymptote. And the graph is not touching as it moves towards infinity positive infinity, and also negative infinity on the x-axis. It is okay if the graph crosses a horizontal asymptote. That does happen. Graphs never cross vertical asymptotes. Occasionally, they can cross a horizontal asymptote. But eventually, as the graph stretches out and goes towards either positive or negative infinity, it never approaches or crosses that horizontal asymptote on the ends there. There's a second scenario. What if the denominator leading degree or the bottom leading degree is bigger than the top leading degree or numerator leading degree? If that's true, then the limit value is 0, the exact same that would be the case if we were finding the equation of the horizontal asymptote and the same scenario happens. It would be y equals 0. So here's an example. The limit of this function as x approaches positive infinity. We're comparing leading degrees. We can see that the bottom leading degree is bigger than the top leading degree. We could actually simplify this, this uh, expression right here, this function, and just write it as 1 over x. You could write 5 over 7x. That's OK. But in this scenario, these coefficients don't matter. We could just really simplify it down to this. So if the bottom of a fraction is growing incredibly large, if it's approaching infinity, then I'm getting a really small number because you're doing 1 divided by a really big number. That's a really small number. And if you keep doing that, if you keep growing this number bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, then answer or the value is going to keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and approach 0. So the limit is an approaching value. This function is approaching 0 or the horizontal asymptote equation is y equals 0. Here's the graph of that function. We can see it. As we stretch out towards positive infinity, this graph is approaching y equals 0, or the limit value of 0. As it stretches back towards negative infinity, it's doing the exact same. It's approaching y equals 0. So limits that approach infinity have the same exact behavior as if we're looking for horizontal asymptotes. There's one more scenario. What if the numerator or the top leading degree is bigger 
than the bottom. If we were looking for horizontal asymptotes, we would say that no horizontal asymptote exists, although there may be a slant asymptote, if you know anything about that. But that doesn't matter to us when we're evaluating limits. So we say that the limit value, because there's no horizontal asymptote, the graph is approaching either positive or negative infinity. It's growing without bound. And we can take a look at two examples here. If you know about n behaviors of graphs, then it follows that pattern. Let's take a look. We evaluate the limit of this function as x approaches positive infinity. We compare our leading degrees. The top degree is bigger. We could simplify by canceling out these x's. There's still one more x than the bottom. We could simplify it to this. And we can see that the n behavior graph follows a linear graph behavior. It's going to, if it's a positive linear function, it's going to increase from left to right. As it goes right, it's going to go up. And as it goes left or towards negative infinity, it's going to go down. It's got that linear function in behavior. And then we could just think about it. If I'm approaching positive infinity, I'm going this way. So my graph or in behavior is going to approach positive infinity. It's just going to go up forever. Let's take a look at another example, similar. Let's compare the end behavior and see if it works. It's another function, a negative function. And this time the limit is approaching negative infinity, so we gotta look at the other direction. Again, we're gonna find those leading degrees and we're gonna simplify. If I simplify x to the fifth over x to the third, I get x squared. But this is a negative function, so keep it negative. So we're looking at an in behavior of a quadratic that is negative. A quadratic that is negative is going to be an upside down parabola or a concave down parabola, or it's going to open downward. And the in behaviors are going to move towards negative infinity as my x values go towards negative infinity. And the output is going to approach negative infinity as I go towards positive infinity on the x-axis. And so if I'm approaching negative infinity, I'm moving this way on the x-axis, I know that my output or my limit value is approaching negative infinity as well. So that was horizontal asymptotes, which are the same exact behavior or patterns as limits that are approaching uh, infinity, or as x is approaching infinity.